In this exercise, we use thermal flow to put together a basic cooling system. Here we have 30 gallons per minute of coolant flowing through an engine. The engine has a mass of 400 kilograms and a heat rate to coolant of 85 kilowatts. From there, the coolant flows to a thermostat. Uh, the main flow goes through a pipe section, three feet long, five centimeters diameter, with a loss of two going to the radiator. And from the radiator, there's another pipe section, two feet long, five centimeter diameter, and loss of one. The secondary flow from the thermostat flows to the inlet of the pump through a pipe section of one foot long, one inch diameter, with a loss coefficient of two. As I mentioned earlier, the flow rate through the pump is 30 gallons per minute, and the air flow rate through the fan is 2350 cubic feet per minute. We create a new model, call it CoolSys, and adjust our screen. Now we go to Parts Library, choose Basic Parts, and drag a simple pump to the canvas in a desired location. Now we need a simple engine to put it somewhere near the pump outlet. Now we need to go to thermostats and get a basic thermostat and put it on the screen. Next we need a radiator so we go to heat exchangers and choose a simple radiator and place it on the canvas. Now we need some connecting pipes so we go and drag a straight pipe at the outlet of the radiator. Now to do the other pipes we just copy this by keeping the control down and, con and dragging it to the desired location. And another one going to the inlet of the pump. This one will turn around so it's in the correct orientation. Now easy as that we have all the parts chosen and we need to connect them. We go from an outlet of each part and connect to the inlet of the next. This way we define our coolant flow path. And here. Now here we have three different parts that need to be connected. So to do that we need a connection node. So we go here and to the parts library drag a connection node put it somewhere here and connect it to the three parts as such. With that we have the coolant flow path defined. Now we need to set the fluid. So go to any node, we choose the inlet of the pump, right click, set fluid and double click on that to define. We go to user defined fluids and get ethylene glycol 50 and put the icon out of the way. Now we also set the pressure to zero gauge at the inlet of the pump because that's convenient. So with that we define the coolant flow path. So now let's go and define the air flow path. This is an open path so we need an inlet and an outlet. So first we get the inlet, put it before the radiator and then we have an outlet on the other side. Now we need to put a fan before the outlet right here. As before we connect the parts together to define the airflow path as such. Now to define the fluid for this path again right click on a node, set loop fluid, fluid for the loop and double click on it, choose air from an ISD list of fluids. Now we need to define our parts properties. Let's start with the pipes. Double click on a part, we set the length and the diameter for this one was 5 centimeters and the loss coefficient, we turn it on, the value of 2 apply. We now go to the next pipe section. Here the length was 
two feet diameter again five centimeters and the loss coefficient of one and the last pipe double click one foot long one inch diameter and loss coefficient of two now let's set the flow rate through the pump double click on the pump uh, we could define uh, fixed flow rate or pump curve so we choose fixed flow rate uh, and assign 30 gallons per minute of coolant flow double click on the engine simple engine we have the mass uh, let's set it to 400 kilograms and the heat rate to 85 kilowatts uh, the thermostat we leave as it is now and the fan we double click on the fan and we choose fixed flow for the fan of 2350 cubic feet per minute okay now we are ready to run before we run the model we define variable time steps so let's go to modeling tab choose a table then we define a new table we call it time step and as an independent variable we choose time from solver variables select variable and apply okay now we define a step function define different ranges for the first range to 10 seconds we use one second time step to 100 seconds we use five seconds and from 100 to 10,000 let's use 10 second time step and we press apply and that defines our table now if you go to model setup uh, we can choose transient variable time step and set the time step we go to the model parameters and we check this on and we choose the table that we just defined and it appears here is time step and we select the table and apply it and we press apply on model parameters now we are ready to run to run the simulation we go back to the home tab click on run and we can go on transient to see the temperature stabilize the simulation is finished now we can see the area where the the thermostat kicks on let's zoom in that you can see the slopes changes at that point now we see the temperature throughout the system if you wanted to see inside of any com complex component you go to the open detailed model and you can see the internal temperature pressure whatever now to see other results you just go on the result tab and for example pick volumetric flow rate and change the unit to gallons per minute and we can see the coolant flow in different paths